Wow, you're so early here. Hi, Miss. Hi, good evening. How are you, Alexander? I'm uh, fine, you? How was uh, your day? Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. What about your day? How was your day? Well, it was uh, very, very well. I I worked today and I think uh, it was uh, very good. Nice that you had a good day. Are you working? Yes, I, I'm a music teacher. Oh, excellent. That's nice. Music is relaxing, right? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yeah, sometimes helps as well and uh, what about the rest of you and the rest of you are you there I just see a black screen with some names but I don't know if you're there I know it is uh, early it is um well we're one minute to start the class but I wanted to test everything before the class. So making sure that everything is working properly. And see, um, were you in the previous modules? Or you're new in this one? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing so far today? I'm so nervous. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> you don't know. Is this your first class online? Uh, it's my second course. Ah, it's the second one. So we, you were with another teacher before. It's, yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, so take it easy. You don't need to be nervous. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing today? Um, very good. A little tired, but I'm very happy. Awesome. Because, because the national soccer team said won. Uh, oh, you like soccer? Today, yes. I'm learning to enjoy soccer as well. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like it, but uh, I think that it is early. <laughs> and the rest of you, how was your day? Were you studying in the previous module in English Corporativo as well? Or is the first one? Who's new here? Any uh, new student? Hi. Uh, I'm a new. Oh, Rafael, you're a new student. Yes. Okay, nice. Ruben, you too? Okay, awesome. Well, I see that some people has been here uh, from previous modules with previous teachers. Um, I see that, yeah, we have... To... 19, I don't know if there is someone else missing, but uh, we're going to start. Well, the, the ones that have been in the previous module, you already know a couple of uh, rules, let's say it like that, on how this works. But it is not a, a, a bad idea to make a recap uh, to see how, how this works. Okay, so the classes are from Monday to Monday too? Tuesday. Okay, Monday to Thursday. So we're going to have classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Fridays off, okay? It's one hour of classes. Every day is from nine to, from eight to nine, right? The same schedule is going to be the same link. Ok, so va a ser siempre el mismo enlace el que van a utilizar, ¿verdad? 
Okay. Eh, para entrar a la clase siempre va a ser de 8 a 9, de lunes a jueves. Okay. Eh, voy a decir las indicaciones como lo, lo básico así en español. Eh, igual en el desarrollo de la clase, yo sé que algunos ya estuvieron con diferentes teachers, entonces al principio a veces es difícil acostumbrarse al acento de la otra persona. Eh, igual los temas gramaticales me gusta explicarlos en español. Cuando necesiten que les diga algo en español, no tengan miedo de decírmelo o pena. Eh, y si no lo quieren decir, pues escríbanlo en el chat en privado y yo les voy a ayudar. Para eso estamos. Eh, en general, pues bueno, les decía, va a ser el mismo link todos los días, el mismo enlace para la meeting de Zoom. Eh, espero siempre de 8 a 9 en esta clase. Con respecto a la plataforma, eh, ustedes pueden avanzar y adelantarse todo lo que quieran y puedan. Eh, lo ideal es que para la tercera semana de clases ustedes ya tengan cubierto el 80%, el mínimo, que es lo que se espera para reservar el cupo para el siguiente módulo. Eso es solo para reservar. Eh, otra cosa importante, los ejercicios los pueden desarrollar y si de pronto se encuentran con alguno que no entiende, no les está dando problemas, pueden escribir en el chat. Eh, solo asegúrense de poner eh, qué número de ejercicio es, ¿verdad? Manden una foto, tengo problemas en este ejercicio, eh, alguien me puede ayudar y cualquiera, ya sea sus compañeros o, o, o yo, les podemos asistir. Pero solo digan qué número de ejercicio es. Es el 2.15, es el 3. Punto, lo que sea, para ir rapidito a ayudarles. ¿Verdad? Y luego eh, cualquier cosa en la que tengan duda la solventamos en la clase. ¿verdad? En el momento lo que nos surge es solventar el ejercicio, luego explicamos. Incluso a veces yo les contesto rapidito, ahorita estamos working from home, entonces tengo mi celular a la mano, entonces a veces yo tal, solo les tiro la respuesta y en la clase les puedo explicar un poquito más. Eh, pero para eso estamos. Y a veces yo no puedo, no, no, no tengo... Facilidad con el teléfono, cualquiera de los compañeros les puede ayudar. Eh, igual con el examen, no importa si el ejercicio el del examen, ustedes tienen dudas, no entienden la indicación o por alguna razón no los deja pasar, pueden preguntar en el chat, no hay ningún problema. Es, los ejercicios, si algún ejercicio le salió malo, Usted lo puede repetir sin ningún problema hasta que logre la nota que usted desea. Por ejemplo, en la primera vez que lo hizo se sacó 8. Usted dice, no, yo quiero llegar al 10. A la segunda se sacó 9 y lo hizo una tercera vez y a la tercera se sacó 10. La nota que le va a registrar la plataforma es la última. ¿Verdad? So, si la última ya fue 10, esa nota le queda registrada. Eh, no porque, ay, me salió incorrecto el ejercicio, ya se quedó así. No, usted lo puede corregir. Hay errores en la plataforma, eh, a veces son errores nuestros de typing, a veces es que hemos utilizado acento en vez de apóstrofe y por eso no nos deja pasar el ejercicio. A veces nosotros no nos damos cuenta y de ahí viene un compañero y entonces es que estás poniendo apóstrofe y ese es el error, ¿verdad? O ahí no va espacio. A veces son cosas que la plataforma no reconoce. Tal vez tenemos que formular una pregunta y le ponemos el, el signo de pregunta al final pero la plataforma no lo reconoce, entonces hay que quitárselo, aunque sabemos que es, eh, debe de llevarlo, pero a veces este, son cositas así que la plataforma no reconoce y a veces otro compañero ya pasó por ahí, ya solventó el problema y nos puede ayudar. Entonces, esto, con lo del grupo de WhatsApp, se ha habilitado, ahí pueden compartir este, cosas referentes a la clase, alguna duda que tengan, incluso si encontraron alguna aplicación para ver phrasal verbs, usted pueden compartir, encontré tal cosa o algo referente al tema que pueda reforzar, está bien. Lo que no vamos a tratar de evitar es compartir cadenas o decir, hey, chico, voy a vender sopa de pata el domingo y cosas así, eso no. Por favor, solamente cuestiones académicas, ¿verdad? Si encontró algo ahí que le parece útil para el desarrollo de la clase, mándelo. Usted dice, hey, encontré esto, video explicando los phrasal verbs, mándelo, puede hacerlo. Eh, yo les mandé antes de la clase la presentación, el PowerPoint que voy a estar utilizando para guiarnos. Esto les aclaro de ya que va basado en lo que está en la plataforma. 
pueden ver un par de diferencias. De repente les voy a poner ejercicios adicionales siempre relacionados a lo que estamos viendo. Eh, a veces la fotito también varía un poco de lo que ven en la plataforma porque tal vez en la plataforma yo lo veo muy borroso y tengo otro material por ahí, lo tomé de por allá, pero la fotito es diferente. O tal vez hay una palabra diferente ahí, pero básicamente es lo mismo. Eh, hay personas que imprimen las presentaciones de PowerPoint para tenerlas a, a la mano. That's okay. Eh, ¿Tienen preguntas hasta acá? ¿No? Okay. Hola, Bicher. buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches, sí. Eh, yo solamente eh, estaba verificando la plataforma y eh, comúnmente nos pide un, un video y que ingresemos una discusión, pero no discusión, ¿verdad? La palabra total. Pero en ese sería como brindar ideas o cómo se estaría complementando esos comentarios, perdón, porque no, no entendía muy bien el concepto que se tendría que hacer. Ok. Eh, muy buena pregunta. Eh, este, las discussion forums son orientados a que... Ay, niños, tengo como me de no hacer esto. Quiero ver. <risa> es que ahí supuestamente tenemos que dar un ejemplo sobre lo que... Sobre el video. Ajá, pueden ver acá mi, mi pantalla. Sí. Sí. Ok, so, este es lo, después de cada video, uh, por ejemplo, este es el que vamos a ver ahora, dice Turn Down the TV. Entonces, en la discusión wow. eh, van a poner, eh, todavía no hay publicaciones, dice acá, pero de pronto les okay. pide ahí que pongan eh, Common Complaints, right? Como eh, eh, utilizando esto, por ejemplo, esto es un, two, un phrasal verb o two word verb. And son para dar uh, indicaciones, ¿verdad? Como turn down the TV, tenemos los dos verbos. Turn down the TV. Y si de pronto usted quiere decir turn the TV down, lo puede poner acá. Mm -hmm. Open the window up. Open up the window. Depende de lo que de, diga acá el, 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 el video. Aquí vamos a publicar algo. Siempre relacionado al video. Poniendo en práctica lo que vimos en el video. Y esto les aclaro de una vez, es opcional, esto no es evaluado, sin embargo nosotros lo vemos. Como tenemos acceso a la plataforma también, nosotros vemos acá, ah, estamos utilizando bien lo que se vio en la clase. O de repente vemos ahí algo que hay que reforzar, esto nos sirve a nosotros como, como, um, como un sondeo, pero sí les aclaro, la discusión no es evaluada. Es una práctica adicional que les puede ayudar tanto a ustedes como a nosotros. Lo que sí es evaluado son estos que dicen knowledge check. Eso sí, eso sí los tienen que completar a la brevedad posible, porque esos son los que les va contando y evaluando la plataforma. Eh, teacher. Sí. Yo tengo otra pregunta. Con respecto a lo que mencionaba del grupo en donde publicó ya la presentación. Uh -huh. Yo no estoy incorporado porque no he recibido nada al respecto. De hecho, no me aparece el grupo. El enlace le aparece. Eh, ustedes recibieron un correo con el enlace de ah, la okay. playlist de YouTube. Por ahí debe de haber un enlace que dice WhatsApp. Entre todo el letrerío que dice el enlace, dice WhatsApp. Entonces usted le da clic ahí si se quiere unir al grupo. Gracias. Um, y, y si no lo tiene, hay que preguntar a administración para que se lo envíen. Voy a, voy a revisar ese enlace, gracias. Ok, perfecto. Eh, ¿Alguien más? Buenas noches, Miss. Eh, Buenas le saluda noches. William, William Figueroa. Eh, yo reportaba por la tarde sobre el problema de acceso vía teléfono, pero ya se me habilitó. Oye, ya todo está trabajando normal. Excelente. Buenas Muchas noches. gracias. Ok. <risa> ¿Alguien más? Eh, bien, buenas noches nuevamente. Eh, el enlace, si gusta, lo podemos compartir aquí en el chat para que se pueda incorporar el de una vez. Esa es una. Y la otra, eh, los métodos de evaluación solo van a ser los que estén en la plataforma o también vamos a incluir tal vez eh, speaking, listening, todo, toda esa área o solo lo de la plataforma. Está, tienen dos exámenes. Eh, es, tenemos el midterm exam que lo tienen que realizar al finalizar la segunda semana de clases. 
O sea que a la octava clase usted ya tiene que tener ese examen hecho, el que dice midterm exam y hay un final exam. Esos exámenes incluyen listening, eh, reading y grammar. El speaking lo practicamos en estas sesiones. Eh, de hecho, estas sesiones son para aclarar temas que de la plataforma, dudas, preguntas y para practicar también. Pero si el speaking se, se practica en clase y ya este, si hay algo pronunciación y cosas y todo eso lo vamos desarrollando y corrigiendo acá en la sesión. Por eso es importante que no se las pierdan. Ok, mis thanks. ¿Alguna otra duda? No hay más sí. dudas. Uh -huh. Sí, ya, ya revisé, teacher, y sí, ahí está el link para unirse al grupo. De hecho, ya logré unirme al grupo pero no me aparece la presentación que compartió. Vaya, la vamos a volver a compartir. Por favor. Porque sí, como no estaba en el grupo, no le va a aparecer. La vamos a volver a compartir. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Y gracias a todos. Importante, si pueden habilitar la cámara, háganlo, porque pues así se interactúa. Y de repente, pues, si pido participación, eh, de repente, eh, quiero saber si, si están por ahí, ¿verdad? <ríe> eh, los felicito, muy guapos, muy guapas, y espero que se mantengan así, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que estos videos son públicos y también son auditados por Insafor. Así que no quiero ver por ahí de repente que alguien salga enseñando la humanidad, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos... Es un, hace calor, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos el ratito de la clase pongámonos camisita, ¿verdad? Eh, igual traten de que sea algo una, por ahí apartadito, ¿verdad? Díganle a su familia que esta hora, por favor, no traten de olvidarse que ustedes existen para que puedan concentrarse en la clase, ¿verdad? No, y buscar un lugar apartado, ¿verdad? Que no vaya a estar pasando la familia por detrás y de repente pasa ahí el osote sin camisa ahí enseñando la humanidad. Entonces, no, ¿verdad? Para evitar todo eso, busquen un lugarcito apartado. No importa si es el patio, si es en la cocina, pero apartados. Igual el micrófono lo habilitan cuando vayan a participar y luego lo deshabilitan. Se ponen en mute ustedes mismos. A veces yo... Eh, estoy explicando y se me hace difícil estar muteándolo, ¿verdad? Mute, porque se oyó que ahí va la costa, la 44, la 44, el centro surita. Son ruidos que no podemos controlar, las casas son eh, pequeñas, a veces viven a la orilla de la calle, se oye que el vecino está con el perreo intenso, entonces siempre traten de ponerle mute, porque a mí a veces se me, se me eh, estoy explicando y explicando y en lo que le doy mute a veces este puedo hacer otra cosa que no. Entonces, si traten de mantenerlo en mute el micrófono, usted puede participar, puede preguntar, inmediatamente se pone en mute otra vez. Eh, otra cosa, hay una manita por ahí que si de repente voy muy rápido, tienen una duda, quieren preguntar o quieren participar, pueden levantar esa manita. Usualmente está donde dice participantes y dice raise hand o levantar la mano, porque hay uno que es reacción, que solo aparece como así. Entonces eso, cuando es el otro, el que dice raise hand, que es levantar la mano, a mí me parece un pop-up en la pantalla y ahí yo puedo, eh, no sé si ya lo encontraron la función esa, si la habían utilizado antes. Yes. Ok. Veamos. Aquí ya me aparece la lista, Carol, Andrea, esa justamente es la manita. Ahí estoy viendo. Y luego pues la quitan, lower hand, and that's it. Eso es cuando quieran participar o tengan alguna pregunta o, o quieren que, que me detengan en algún punto. Entonces ahí está esa manita. ¿Dudas, preguntas hasta acá? ¿No? No. Okay, so welcome to this class. We are going to start with the first topic, which is, let's see. We are in, oh my God, you're a couple of a step away to get into advanced level intermediate too. So I'm going to share the presentation. This is what I sent you over the WhatsApp group early today. All right, so we're going to start 
Eh, si alguien me puede hacer el favor de reenviarla al grupo para los que no estaban cuando la mandé, that would be great. Okay. Here we are. This is the first topic that we've seen in the section number one that the topic of us is okay, no problem. And, oh, oh, by the way, my name is, here you have it. I, I wrote it in the WhatsApp group as well, but some people were not included in the group. My name is Flor Guerrero and I'm going to be in charge of this section. All right, so the first one is, okay, no problem. And we have uh, some common complaints of family with teenagers. Um, let's see, my kids, let's see, those are common complaints. Let's see, a volunteer to read about my kids, volunteer victim, okay, Jose Peña, thank you so much. Can you read that? <laughs> yes, of course, uh, my kids. Don't head around the street. Are always texting their friends. Never listen to us. Never listen to us. Eat too much junk food. Leave everything until the last minute. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. Next victim, Alexander. Thank you so much. Read about my parents. Okay. My parents. Uh, embarrass, embarrass me. Smile me in front of my friends. Don't respect my privacy, uh, criticize my taste in music, knock me to clean up my room, won't let me make, up, make my own decision. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so those are some common complaints. Let's practice everybody, let's repeat, and then we're going to clarify some words. Maybe you, there is something new here for you. Let us repeat. My kids. Don't help my me around kid, the house. My kids. Oh, Ay, hey, hasta el canelo está practicando. <laughs> okay. <laughs> lo pueden, um, lo pueden, eh, pueden practicar en la casa con el micrófono en mute. Uh, listen and then repeat at home. That's not a problem. Y si tienen alguna palabra que quieren que repitamos, pues me lo dicen then. Okay, let's repeat. My kids. My kids. My kids. Don't help kids. around the house. Don't help around the house. Don't help around the house. Uh -huh. Try to say don't. 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 Don't, uh -huh. don't help around don't. the house. Ajá, como con, con fuerza, porque si decimos don't. Don, eh, don Raimundo, el señor Don quién, es don't, ok, don't, <laughs> yeah, cool, awesome, let's repeat, don't help around the house, don't, don't help around the house. Around the house. Around the house. Excellent, are always texting their friends. Are uh, always, 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 never listen to us. Never, never listen, listen to us. Listen to us. <laughs> Eat too much junk food. Eat too much, too much, too much, much junk food. food. Leave everything until the last minute. Leave, Leave everything until the last, the last minute. minute. Okay. My parents. My parents, my parents. Parents. embarrass me in front of my friends. Embarrass me in front of my friends. My friends. Don't respect my privacy. <coughs> Don't respect my, my privacy. privacy. Criticize my taste in music. Criticize, Criticize my taste in music. music. Nag me to clean up my room. Won't let me make my own decisions. Won't let me make my own decisions. Own decisions. Oh, awesome. Byron, do you have any question? Yeah, uh, just for the one in my kids. Uh, and the part that it said, it, eat too much junk food. Eat, it's going to sound like IT. Right, like eat, eat, yes. or eat too, okay. eat too much junk food. Eat, mm -hmm. eat like the too movie. much <laughs> junk food. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, thanks. Eat, yes, eat too much junk food. Okay, any thanks. other question? Uh, just in, it's gonna be on um, my parents, it's gonna be criticized, right? Yes, criticize. Okay, cool, thank you. You're more than welcome. Any other question? All right, cool. So uh, those are like the most common complaint. Which complaint seems reasonable? Which one seems unreasonable and why? Any volunteer? No volunteers. Shine bright like diamonds. This is your time to shine. <laughs> like which complaints seem reasonable? Which one seem? Choose someone. Yeah, I think I'm going to have um or see myself I need to select a victim. Okay. Joanna, which complaint seems reasonable? Hi. Um, well, reasonable, it will be don't respect my privacy, privacy. Oh, right. Don't respect my privacy. Very privacy. Good. Why? <laughs> because parents, even when we are an adult, they always try to uh, get involved in all problems or things that we want to do in privacy <laughs> and they are always um they make it <laughs> uh, yes and they make you feel like they don't trust in you <laughs> okay uh, that is correct. excellent <laughs> very good comment john thank you so much let's see which one seems unreasonable carol which one is unreasonable and why um I don't know. <laughs> Pass the ball. Choose someone else. Um, Puede pasar la bola y decirle fulanito, fulanita, can you help me with that one, please? Okay. Um, Janet, uh, help me, please. I don't know. Likewise. <laughs> okay. Pass Can the I? Ball. Yes, sure. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's for unreasonable, right? Yes. Don't mm. have around the house or I think it's for the one that eats too much junk food. Because I also, our parents, maybe sometimes on weekends or, or parties, they also eat a lot of junk food. So they don't really understand us in this time that we are younger than then. But we are eating the fast things that we can get as soon as possible. And the ones, it's for the junk food, I think. That's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I totally agree with you because there is some time in the life that you cannot eat that. So you have to enjoy it while you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's now I, I eat a churrito at night and I die the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have to enjoy when, when there is time to, right? Because at some point, we cannot do that anymore. Okay, so That's right. <laughs> thank you so much for your participation. And um, don't be afraid to participate. It is very, very important. Y bueno, se dieron cuenta, ¿verdad? Que aunque estamos en un relajo por ahí, de repente se escucha palabritas que tenemos que reforzar. Y, y practicamos otra vez y repetimos juntos. Por eso es importante. Si usted no participa, yo no tengo el chance de decir, ok, ¿verdad? Porque digo, a este nivel, no, nah, este, ¿para qué vamos a repetir? Pero sí. Ahí nos damos cuenta que a veces es necesario porque hay palabritas, ¿verdad? Como esta, la criticize. Ok, 
que yo sí. podría decir, ay, eso es fácil para ellos. Pero cuando participan me doy cuenta que hay que reforzar cositas que yo tal vez estoy asumiendo, pero estoy equivocada. Entonces es importante que participen y, y para eso estamos acá, ¿verdad? Para aprender y practicar. So, hay que aprovechar el chance. Ok, no questions so far. Can we move on? Ok. Let's see. Ya le iba a dar en. Es que ya. <ríe> Con un mes me tosté toda, niños. Qué costo que nos dieran otra vez este chance. <ríe> ok. So, we're going to watch the first video. And then we're going to practice. So we're going to listen for pronunciation and then we're going to practice again. Let's see. <coughs> Let me share my sound with you. Okay, let's watch the video. This is the first video in the platform for the ones who couldn't access. We're gonna do it right now and then we're gonna practice. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay. No problem. Goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay. So that was the conversation. Do you have any question in regards of that conversation? Questions? Okay, no questions? Not for me right now. Okay, that was what I was telling you about this, right? So the, the picture seems a little bit different, but this is clearer than the one that we saw in the video. Esta está un poco más clara, es el mismo libro, solo que es otra versión. So this is what we're going to use right now. What we're gonna do is to practice this conversation in groups, okay? I'm going to create the group sections and then you're going to join and practice it with your classmate. Uh, this is Mr. Well, it's a four people conversation, right? So we're gonna make groups of four or five and we're going to practice this conversation. Remember to change roles as you see, these four people in this conversation. So you have to practice this at least four times. The first time I'm going to be Mr. Field. The second round, I'm gonna be Jason. The third round, I'm gonna be Lisa. And the last wow. round, I'm gonna be Mrs. Field. So you have to practice this at least four times. If you can do it more, that would be awesome. Questions? No question. Okay, no, no question. you already have this presentation. I'm going to send it again over the WhatsApp group. But if you want, you can also take a screenshot if it is easier for you. Pueden tomar un screenshot o también la tienen en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Ya que la mande por WhatsApp y la voy a volver a mandar in a minute cuando estén en la práctica. Questions? Okay. No. Okay, I'm going to create the breakout rooms para los que es primera vez. Vamos a crear como mini salones de clases y les voy a dejar un tiempo ahí practicando. Right? Les va a aparecer un mensajito en la pantalla que dice join o unirse. Tienen que dar clic ahí y de repente él mismo lo va a sacar de la sección. Let's see. Let's see, creo que voy a dejar de compartir. Okay, stop sharing. And now, wake up rooms. Eh, solo déjenme acordarme dónde estaba esto. Mm. 
That, it doesn't happen frequently, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Niños no lo encuentro. <laughs> Voy a preguntar, Auxilio. Hey, it doesn't show me. Okay? I think it's in the in more. Me, please. Yes, I, I I don't see that one. I should, or... but I don't see that one. Okay. It, yeah, more. Yeah, hide optimize. No, I don't have that one. I don't know why I don't have that option. More That's chat weird. to stop recording meeting in for no, it's not showing me that option. So I'm gonna give you time for you to read the conversation and then we are going to ask for volunteers in order to do it for the class. Okay. Okay. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que la lean, la practiquen alone, and then we're going to create groups for the class. Voy a preguntar. Ay, Dios, ya me afligió esto. Guess what? I'm released. I have read the chat for the facilitators, and it's not only me, the one who had that problem. <laughs> so, okay, volunteers. Let's see, four volunteers. You can raise your hand and leave it there so we can role play this conversation. And remember that intonation is important. Intonation is important. You have to create the, uh, the, the character. Oh, thank you so much. So let me check here in the presentation because we saw, I'm going to try to share and see if I can still see the names here. Okay, see, raise hand. Dejen la manita ahí para que vayamos eh, y los que participen pues la van bajando. Ok, we have José, William, Alexander, and Joanna, the first four. 
William, Alexander, Joanna, and Jose, you're going to be the first four in participating here. Ok. Pónganse de acuerdo. ¿Quién va a ser quién? I'm going to be Jason. Ok. I'm going to be Mr. Phil. I'm going to be Lisa. <laughs> Who is Miss? Who's Mr. Field? Who's Mr. Field? I am Miss. Okay, you can okay. start. Okay. Perfect. Jason, Jason, turn that TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it, 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 Okay, I turn it in down. That's better. Thanks. <laughs> Mrs. Fia. <laughs> Where is the Mrs. Field? Okay. Oh, I am sleeping. Here I am. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are all over the floor. In a minute, mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, it is very important. Well, intonation indeed is important. But also, if you get, can get into the character, it is very good as well. Because I'm sure that most of you, or at least a couple of you, are trying um, or are doing this because you want to learn English, because you want to apply to a different position, or maybe you want to apply in a contact center. And sometimes, as customer service representative, they say, you have to show empathy to the customer. And probably the customer is yelling at you and you're mad, but you have to, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. <laughs> customer. Aunque sea mentira y por dentro lo esté odiando, pero I'm sorry to hear that. So you have to, right? So that's what is important. Congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's listen another four participants. Let's see. Eh, bajen la mano los que ya participaron. No sé. Vamos por los otros cuatro que están por ahí. Vamos a compartir otra vez. All right. So I see here Byron. Byron puede empezar. And then Stephanie. Okay. Uh, you're Jason. <laughs> and then Rafael. Uh, you are Mrs. Field. And then Manuel, you are Lisa. Okay. Hey, action. Okay. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Uh, me, Jason, or Lisa? Oh, you were Jason. Oh, Who okay. is Jason? Me. Oh, I'm sorry. Or... Okay. You are Jason. Oh, but... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Thanks, thanks better. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, me, mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much. Let's get... Uh, uh, teacher, sorry. Yes? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, for the last word, 
is in is the right way definitely definitely or excellent how yes that one definitely la eh, like definitely, definitely. Yes, es como que esto no suena como lo de definitely medio. definitely, definitely. Okay. it's like t -L, t l y at definitely. the end right definitely, definitely. yes excellent Without the e. uh -huh. okay, definitely definitely como def Definitely. Definitely. Mm, definitely. Definitely. Okay. definitely. Excellent. You. you got Definitely. it. You got it. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, you got it. Excellent. Right. So let's go for oh, four more. Cabal, me quedaron los cuatro. Pero creo que Stephanie ya estaba. No, le va a tocar second round. <laughs> no se vaya. Alguien más falta uno. <laughs> Solo tengo tres. Ok, si quiere vuelvo a participar. Ok, you can start. And then we got Carol, you can continue with Jason, uh, Jenny, you can be Mrs. Field, and Luis, you can go for Lisa. Okay, let's listen. Okay. Yeah. Jason, Jason, turn on the TV, please. Turn down the play. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, who else? Pueden empezar otra vez. Okay. Vamos a ver, tengo aquí primero a Carol, ella puede ser Mr. Phil, luego mm -hmm. a Jenny, ella es Jason. <laughs> luego tenemos okay. Mrs. Phil, ella puede ser Luis. Okay. Y Andrea sería Lisa. Okay. 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 Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but it's my favorite program. I know, but but it's very loud. Okay, I turn it down. That's very intense. Lisa, please pick up your things. They they're all over the floor. In a minute, mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. <laughs> okay, very nice job. Good. So, uh, is there anybody else who'd like to participate or we move on? Okay, you did it awesome. Remember yeah, I just have another uh, to pr for the pronouns and uh, it, for I will. It's going to be sound like I'll, or we need to pronounce it like I will, because on uh, the text is I'll. Yes, like, both ways are correct. So uh, the way you feel comfortable, you can say I will, or you can say I'll. Or I'll work. My, my recommendation is to use the contracted form, I'll. Whenever possible, especially if you are speaking, try to always use the short forms, okay? I'll. Thank you. Okay, you're more than welcome. Anything else that you would like to add or ask? And it is the same with, with the there. They are there. There, mm -hmm. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. There. Okay. Anything else? Okay, we still have time to continue here. Okay, so we're going to continue. Let's see what else do we have here. Okay, let's check. So the next thing is the two part verse, and we're going to watch the video. But allow me some minutes. We are doing a couple of new things here, so. Excuse uh, me, teacher. Yes. Uh, can you um, explain uh, a little bit when I must you say uh, as soon as? Oh, you you want to um, know when do we use as soon as or the meaning of or no, the. I know. I know what it's a meaning, I'm clearly, but uh, it's, 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 it's only this way that 
that uh, I, I can I use or the other things or the other situations that I can use the same. Uh, For example. Okay, you can use as soon as possible, as soon as I have the chance, as soon as time permits, right? Mm -hmm. You can put it so, some other words, like um, I'm going to send you the presentations as soon as I finish them. Okay. Or um, I'm going to visit my parents as soon as I can, as soon as possible. Okay. Or yeah, but there are some other words that you can use instead, like, uh, for example, if you're doing something in that moment or in a few moments, you can say right away. Okay, mm -hmm. this is this is not modism in this uh, language. It's no, a no, common no. phrase. Yeah, it is very common and is used in formal language. It's formal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Uh, some uh, the other that is not really formal. It's quite informal. Is real quick. Real quick. Yeah, that one is is informal. But as soon as that is formal. Mm -hmm. Any other thing that we would like to ask? Okay, if there are no more questions, we can continue here with the two part verbs and will for responding to request. Let's watch the video and then we're going to practice a little bit more of this. Let's listen. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place, and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. All right, so in this case, en este caso, bueno, escuchamos el video. ¿Y cuál era la indicación al final acerca de la discussion box? Yes. Okay, we need so... To... Mm -hmm. oh. 
you ask for what we need to do or just if we got the idea that we need to do <laughs> sorry <laughs> yes if you uh, yes if you listen to what is the the recommendation of or the instruction that you listen in the video for you to uh, do yeah. in the discussion but what was it i think the instruction is so clear hmm? we need to add two examples one is going to be for phrasal nouns and the other i think is for the informal, I think. Both I, sentences are again. verbs can change in meaning. Okay, Plus the instruction said that you have... These types of verbs are made up... Responses. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Okay, you have to write two examples as you see here because then it goes um, to a, um, a very wide explanation on that topic, but the, the, the instructions is to make a, a little bit more simple thing. Uh, you have to use it like two examples using uh, two part verbs with nouns. And you have to write it that, like in both ways, as you see here in the example, turn down the TV, turn the TV down. Pick up your things, pick your things up. So you have to write two examples here, similar to this one, right? That was the instruction, but um, one more time. This is something that you can do here and that is not evaluated, just an extra practice that can help us to see how are we getting the topic, right? Now, okay. um, how do you feel that topic? Because it is important also to know how you feel that. Do you think it's easy? or you think it's difficult, you need more on this topic. I want to listen to your opinion because yes, uh, I know that there are five sections and we only have four weeks to cover up all this, but I don't want to be running. If you need me to stop at some point and practice more, go ahead and tell me. How do you feel? For me, for me, it's a little difficult because uh, uh, the al decir esto, el, las combinaciones no se me hace difícil. Mm -hmm. sí, se complica un poco cuando ya empezó a hacer combinaciones, que cómo cambia el meaning, el significado y todo eso, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Anything else? I don't know if you can make uh, if you can give us a, a like a list about the phrasal verbs so we can have an idea about the meaning because uh, like Stephanie says yes um, it's difficult for me to understand when we make the combination uh, and the meanings okay because it changed a lot so that's why I don't know if you can provide us a, like a list for the common ones. Okay, I will be more than glad to do that for you. And that's what I'm asking because I already prepared the presentation, right? And we can cover that, but I'm going to include that review in the section two. That's what I'm going to do. Ahorita ya les mandé la presentación, ya está, pero yo en la sección dos voy a ponerles un review. Y como les digo, es basado siempre en lo que ustedes me digan, porque yo puedo cubrir y apegarme a la plataforma, pero también puedo hacer algo extra para que ustedes practiquen más. Entonces, esto me ayuda a mí para mi, la segunda sección. Yo les voy a incluir un review y más ejercicios con, los, con estos phrasal verbs. Thank you so much. Es importante, no quiero ir corriendo y solo pegarme a la plataforma. Si puedo ampliar y ayudarles a, a entender más o a practicar más, para eso es esta hora. Algo más que quieran agregar? No. Okay, so we're gonna try to cover section one, two, and three in week one and two. So, but then section four in the third week and section five in the fourth week, and we're going to make a general review. So you can also take notes on, um, on topics that you think that are still difficult for you. 
and I will be glad to uh, make a review or to include more exercises for you to practice. So in the second slide, or I'm going to do probably on Monday, right? I'm going to send extra material for us to practice the phrasal verbs. Anything else that you would like to add? Yes, yes, my case. Uh, I don't know if you can share us the presentation into a, a now in our email address. Sometimes it's easier. Well, in my case, it's easier to check it in, in the email, you know, not in WhatsApp group. Yeah, you can uh, share it in WhatsApp group, but because I work during the day, so it's easier for me to, to check it on the computer. Okay, very good. Um, something that you can do, uh, you can write to me and uh, give me your email address and I will gladly assist you with that. Um, ahí tienen mi número, bueno, ahí les he estado escribiendo. So you can write to me and give you your email. Or something else that you can do is to open up the WhatsApp using WhatsApp web in the computer. You open up the chat and you can download the presentation into your computer. You can do that. Mm -hmm. But you can do it. You, you can go Teacher. ahead and give me your email address and I will do that for you. Yes? Uh, what's your name, please? My name is Flor Guerrero. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Eh, ahí no les aparece, creo que solo tienen un muñequito de un teacher y una flor. <ríe> Para que sepan que soy yo. <ríe> yes. Teacher, uh, yes? excuse me, teacher, can you share with me the WhatsApp number of the group? Eh, this is a link, eh, se les envió como un enlace. Es un link entre todos. Hay uno que dice YouTube. Ese es para que vean la playlist de los videos de la clase. Okay. Hay uno que entre todo lo que dice, dice menciona WhatsApp. Ese es para que usted le da clic a ese link y ya se une al grupo. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok. Y, y chequen que lo tengan. Si no lo tienen, escriban para que se los manden. Puedo hacer que se les haya olvidado mandarles el enlace para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Those videos are going to be in YouTube. Yes, and a playlist. Okay. Que On the playlist. Ahí. Ajá, ahí solo le dan click okay. al enlace de la playlist y ya mañana pueden ver el video de esta clase. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Si por algún motivo necesitan verlo para repasar o porque llegaron tarde a la clase y se perdieron alguna parte o se desconectaron o tuvieron problemas de internet, ahí están disponibles los videos de la clase. Ok. So uh, thank you for joining today's section. It's, I hope to see you all tomorrow, all of you. Okay. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. See, see you tomorrow. You tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night.